What's happening, guys? Keith here with another Impact Wrestling review. Uh, so before I get into the show, I just want to give you guys a huge shout out and thank you guys for helping us reach our goal of 100 subscribers. May not be much, but it's something. Um, so when I told you guys last week that once I met this goal, I would be doing some retro TNA reviews. Um, I think this first episode is going to drop Sunday. Um, I will be doing the first Impact episode, um, and then maybe from then on out, I'll let you guys vote on what episode you want to see done, whether it be an original Asylum episode, a pay-per-view, an Impact episode that you guys liked. But for now, let's get to the review. So we open the show with Bobby Lashley and Dan Lambert coming down. Lambert talks about how he's been having the time of his life, and how they've been punking professional wrestling, and uh, how he's still surprised that Impact Wrestling is around, and then he compares Impact to cockroaches, and uh, he says no matter what, you just can't get rid of them. And then he goes on and talks about his victory over James Storm last week, and uh, how he is now unemployed. Uh, he tells the fans to start a collection to help him out. Maybe give him some beer money. It was a pretty good line. Uh, I know a lot of people do not like Dan Lambert, and I am not his biggest fan, but the man does know how to cut a promo, and he's a fantastic heel. Um, and then, basically, the real reason he's out there is to introduce the newest member of American Top Team, which is, to no one's surprise, KM. Lambert says that, he did what even Bobby Lashley couldn't do, and that's put Storm away. Uh, at this point, Lashley kind of gave him a look like, what the hell, man? Um, so KM comes out, grabs the mic, and he says that he was asked by Lashley to prove himself, and he definitely did that. He says that he helped retire Storm and took out Moose. So at this point, Moose comes out, attacks KM. KM and Lashley get the upper hand beat down Moose, and then Eddie Edwards comes out for the save. Go to commercial, come back, and we find out that the main event is KM and Lashley versus Moose and Edwards. Um, up next, we have EC3 come out. I think before that they said EC3's open challenge. So he comes out and cuts a promo on Seidel, kind of reiterating Seidel being a choke artist and lacking killer instinct. Uh, he says the man choked so much that he should be a forward on the Ottawa Senators. Crowd did not like this. So he brings a ref out and kind of, you know, he says this is the EC3 open challenge, to which I, I caught, it caught me off guard, but I shouldn't have been surprised considering he talked down Canada. So Petey Williams comes out, and now we have EC3 versus Petey Williams. Uh, this was a good match. Uh, EC3 was in control the good beginning portion of the match uh pd was able to mount start to mount a comeback um he set ec3 up for a canadian destroyer but ec3 reversed it into a tk3 uh pd kicked out just before three um ec3 ended up on the outside pd went to dive onto him over the ropes ec3 got back in the ring uh at this point matt seidel comes out through the crowd and attacks EC3 in the ring, and then EC3 is able to escape. Um, would the, would have liked there to be an ending to the match, because one of my biggest gripes has always been the interference that happens constantly in Impact, TNA, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, yeah. Up next, we have Mackenzie backstage interviewing Allie. Um, Allie talks about the attack that happened to her last week from Laurel Van Ness, uh, she says that she is not weak, and if Laurel wants to play games, I'm game. Let's play. So we got another one of those promos like last week the, that Matt Seidel had talked about, the Grand Championship. Um, this week he cuts a promo saying that uh, EC3 should not have call, called him out and made fun of him on TV without repercussions. Um, and he challenges him to a regular 60-minute time limit old-fashioned one-on-one match no judges no rounds for the grand championship um so up next we have casey spinelli versus laurel van ness um casey was uh booked pretty strong in this match uh going up against the champ uh this was a really even back and forth match uh eventually uh laurel was able to hit the unprettier for the win 
after the match, Allie comes out and attacks Laurel. Uh, and Laurel's able to escape up the ramp. Um, so, like I said, it was a good match. Uh, very even. And then we have the Eli Drake Championship Address. Um, so he comes out and he starts running down the Canadians about uh, living in the sub zero weather. And then he talks about his victory over Alberto last week that went over very well to the audience. Um, not very well produced uh, match from Russell Pro. And apparently, he's talking about going into Detroit next week. And then he gets interrupted by Alberto. Alberto calls them losers and not saying he says he doesn't have the cojones to to beat him and then or or to challenge him again. And then uh, so Alberto says that he challenges him at Detroit and then goes, "We have an audience. We have a ring. Why wait?" At this point, Johnny Impact comes out and he says, "It sounds like they're having a you guys are having a party in Detroit and I'm not invited." So then he says, "I will be in Detroit, but." Alberto, a lot of stupid things come out of your mouth, but you did say one thing. Why wait? So at this point, um, he gets attacked by Alberto, and then Drake and Adonis come out and attack the two, and then they brawl. And we have a backstage segment with KM, Lambert, and Lashley. Uh, Lambert is asking where James Storm is and goes on and on. Um, <laughs> he's like, oh, yeah. Thanks to KM, he's gone. And uh, Lashley did not look too happy during this segment. So, looks like there's some animosity there. Then we have Joseph Park and Chandler Park backstage. Chandler's talking about his win last week and being undefeated. Uh, so, Joseph tells him that he's had beginner's luck. He goes on and you know says, I've been here for however long. And then Jimmy Jacobs comes up and he says... He knows who Joseph is, and now he's basically a shell of himself. Park says that Abyss will never be coming around here again. And Jacob says, good, because there's only room for one monster on Impact. And so Chandler tells him that uh, he can't talk to, you can't talk to my cousin that way. And then Congo Kong walks up. Chandler gets really scared and backs away. And then Jacob says, he's family too. And uh, that's that. And we learned later on that uh, I believe Congo Kong is facing Chandler next week. Then we have this was probably one of my favorite segments of the night. Um, I don't. I don't I'll, I'll get into it and then I'll talk about it. Uh, so Sammy Callahan and Ove are at LAX's clubhouse. Um, they take their money and start destroying everything. But the way it was shot was so good. It was like grainy and kind of jumpy, very amateurish looking, and uh, they, they just really did a good job. And they, at the end of the segment is uh, they grab the LX's flags and say, welcome to Ohio, amigo. And we come back, and now LAX comes back to their clubhouse um, looking for the money, which obviously it's gone. And uh, Conan, uh, they say, this has to end now. So Conan says, let's go back to our roots, the ambassadors of violence. Let's take those ropes down and put up barbed wire. So next week we get a barbed wire massacre match, which is the first, I believe, no ropes barbed wire match to take place on broadcast television. Um, I think it only took place maybe once on pay-per-view before. Um, but yeah, so I'm super excited for that. Uh, just, just big you know, I mean, I think that'll be a huge draw next week, especially um, leading into the new year with the new set of tapings. Um, definitely a way to draw some people in to keep them going with the storylines. Uh, so up next, we have an X Division six-man tag. Uh, Trevor Lee, Caleb Conley, and Hakeem Zayn versus Garza Jr., Desmond Xavier, and Sanjay Dutt. Um, this was your pretty standard X Division match. Nothing really bad to say here. Um, I would say I expect all six of these men to have a great 2018. Um, but unfortunately, Sanjay Dutt had recently had surgery, and we don't know the timetable for him to come back. Um, so he will probably be taking a step back and doing more work from the back. Um, 
But yeah, anyway, the finish of the match, so Garza, he got hit with a knee from Hakeem Zayn. Uh, but at that point, Xavier tags, Xavier, uh, Desmond Xavier tags himself in. Um, and he knocks Zayn down, goes up to the top, hits the twisting corks for Senton for the win. Um, after the match happened, Ishimori comes out and uh, him and Xavier kind of get face to face shake hands and then the commentators announce that next week these two will have a match so looking forward to that match and that brings us to the main event of km and lashley versus edwards and moose um so the beginning of the match edwards and moose controlled the majority of it um pretty much because km was the legal man um the only times that the heels would get the upper hand is when Lashley inserted himself into the match. Um, the match kind of turned around when uh, KM was laying on the inside of the ring and Eddie Edwards was on the apron. I don't. He was going to hit him with a move over the ropes and Lashley swept Edwards' legs out from under him. Edwards took a nasty bump onto the apron. It, lo- it, would, uh, it was definitely a nice spot. Um, so they battle back and forth. Uh, Lashley and Moose ended up battling outside of the ring. Um, so that left Edwards and KM in the ring. Edwards went to the turnbuckle. Dan Lambert grabbed Edwards' leg. Edwards gets distracted, turns around. KM takes advantage of this and hits him with the ego driver for the win. I, I really like uh, his finisher. Uh, definitely looks like a devastating move. Um, but yeah, this was huge for KM. Um, I really like where they've gone with his character, the character building, and uh, I think it's a good storyline. I know a lot of people don't like American Top Team, and I'm not a huge fan of them being here, but if this was to help build KM up, I'm fine with it. Um, But yeah, like I said, solid show. Um, We did get word about a bunch of things that had happened at this week's Impact tapings. Um... So during the impact report, I'm going to try to keep the spoilers out of it. Try to just go with news and things like that. Um, But yeah, until then, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye, guys.